Hey everyone, recently I did a video on 4 small cap Indian stocks added by Goldman Sachs in its India equity portfolio. Now one of the stock was IQ Lighting. If you recall, company recently had its IPO in June 23 at a price of around 285. Its IPO received a phenomenal response and got subscribed around 68 times. As a result, share got listed around 400 rupee at 38% premium. In no time, it touched levels of 477. Basically 67% jump from its IPO price. Obviously it became expensive. But now stock is corrected around 25% and trading at levels of around 350. The big question is, is it worth investing in IQ at current levels? In fact, honestly speaking, nowadays I hardly apply for IPOs. A because there is very low probability of allocation. It's almost like a lottery. And B even if you get the allocation, it's just one lot. It doesn't make any material difference in my portfolio. Hence, I like to keep a close eye on most potential companies in the IPO and track them. My experience so far says that no matter how great a business is, it eventually gives buying opportunity post IPO. And IQ Lighting could be one of those companies. Hence, today I want to discuss the fundamentals of IQ and its growth prospect and figure out if it is a good time to add the stock in the portfolio or not. Again, it is not a buy or sell call. This video is only for educational purpose. So do your own research before investing your money. And there is one more update. So I always say that the first step to identify multi-packer stock is to keep yourself updated about the latest events, trends and government policies. And personally, I get all this information on X, that's earlier known as uh, Twitter. So folks, now I'm active on X where I share the latest update in the economy and stock market. So if you are on X, you can also follow me there. I provide the link in the description box. And if you don't have any account on X, I would recommend having one because that's the best place to keep yourself updated about latest news in real time. All right, now let's get started with today's video. So IQ Lighting is an Indian manufacturer of LED light solution which is engaged in ODM that is original design manufacturing that include design, development, manufacturing and supplying of LED lights to various companies that further distribute the products under their brand name. For instance, I'm sure you would be aware of a company called Philips. As per research, Philips has nearly around 50% market share in Indian functional decorative lighting category uh, that include your LED spotlights, LED downlights and around 10% market share in true blue decorative lighting segment that include your chandelier, wall lights, then outdoor lights and Philips is the largest customer of IQ lighting. Basically IQ is into B2B business where it manufactures products for companies that eventually sell to end customer with their brand name. IQ had started its journey in 1999 where it manufactured fan regulator switches. Then in 2005, it started manufacturing DVD players. Eventually in 2008, it started LED light manufacturing. And today IQ has become one of the leading manufacturer of LED lights with more than 1000 SKUs. Broadly, its offerings are divided into four categories. LED lighting, then refrigeration lights, ABS piping, and fourth is other product category. Within LED light, it focuses on the premium segment and include lightings, fittings, fixtures, accessories and components. Then within refrigeration light, it offers lighting solution to commercial refrigeration equipment supplier. Then ABS piping is basically an alternative to PVC that is primarily used by their US customer for plumbing application in their recreational vehicles. Then other products include your fan regulator, light strips, molding and other components. Company has also started manufacturing solar panels. But overall, as of today, lighting segment is the biggest contributor in company's revenue with more than 90% contribution. Company has got four manufacturing facilities spread over 3 lakh square feet of area. One plant is in Haridwar that manufacture LED lights, regulators, switches, then three plants in Noida, and each of them manufacture different products. As far as leadership is concerned, Mr. Hardeep Singh is the chairman and MD of the company. He is also the founder and promoter with more than two decades of experience in the industry and responsible for overseeing the strategic growth initiative and expansion plan. Overall, the board of directors have significant experience. If you look at the senior leadership, its top leadership has got ample experience. Now, if you ask me, Sahil, what is the moat of IQ? Then first of all, its biggest moat is its established presence in the industry with long relationship with MarQ customer. For instance, in light, it includes your Philips. In refrigeration, it includes Voltas. Then some other clients include Honeywell, Anchor Panasonic, and so on. It is not easy to build relationship with such top players. It gives you an edge or competitor. 
Then another key mode of the company is its backward integration. Company is completely backward integrated where it is involved in entire value chain, right from design, development, component manufacturing, sourcing, and then uh, manufacturing, logistic, after sales service. Due to this backward integration, company is able to manage more than 20% operating margin, which is very difficult to achieve in this industry. Then company has a strong focus on R&D. For instance, in 2018, company had 225 SKUs and now it has over 1000 SKU. Moreover, company is also expanding its SKU in other segments like ABS pipes that find usage in US market, solar panels and various other products. I hope you got a fair idea about company business model and key strength. Now let us look at the future growth prospects. There is no doubt that the future of LED light is very bright and there are multiple growth drivers. So first driver is rise in smart city projects and overall development of infrastructure. Obviously there will be need for LED lights everywhere. Then second, increasing awareness for energy efficient lighting. LED lights are much more energy efficient as compared to old style light and that makes them a preferred option. Today all new residential and commercial buildings are using LED lights. Moreover there is an increasing adoption of smart and automated lighting that would again drive the growth for LED lights. Since India is still a developing country and there is a lot of focus on infrastructure building, LED sector has a bright growth prospect. And one of the biggest growth driver for this industry is government focus on reducing the dependence from China and increase domestic LED manufacturing. And of course, many global MNCs are also looking to reduce dependency on China. Since IQ is one of the leading LED company in India, it is bound to grow. The important question here is, what are the growth plans of the company? So first of all, company is expanding its uh, manufacturing capacity and coming up with a new manufacturing facility in Noida with an area of 5 lakh square feet in the next 2-3 years. Please note that currently company has a manufacturing facility of 3 lakh square feet. So this new facility itself is going to be even bigger than all 4 combined plants. Out of this, block 1 with 2 lakh square feet area is expected to be operationalized by Q3 of FR24. Currently we are in Q2. In short, there is ample room for expansion. Then second company is also expanding its product portfolio and is in the process of developing rechargeable appliances, then expanding its recreational offerings and develop more SKUs for home decor vertical. Then third company is focused on expanding its presence across India as well as in North America. Eventually company also want to expand into Europe and South Asian market. Finally, if you look at the sales, it has grown from 220 crore in FR20 to 359 crore in FR23. Company's margins have been about 20% and latest margins are at 22%. In last 3 years, its profit before tax has more than doubled from 30 crore to 66 crore and net profit has grown from 21 crore to 50 crore. So growth has been very impressive. Company has got high ROE of 39.9% and ROC of 30.6%. As of FR23, company has a debt of around 123 crore, but in IPO, company has raised around 606 crore, out of which around 350 crore is fresh issue of equity, and out of this, 50 crore is for repayment of debt that has been completed. So going forward, debt to equity of the company would reduce to 0.7. From the IPO, 212 crore is for the manufacturing of new facility, which is work in progress. Company's cash from operation was negative in FR21 and 22, but in FR23, it has become positive. Overall, the growth rate has been high with earning doubling in 3 years and profitability and margins are also high. Debt level is well under control, so financials are looking promising. Now let us look at the key risk. So first risk is client concentration risk. Philips, now known as Signify, contributes around 50% of company's total revenue. So there is high dependence on single client. Moreover, around 85% of the revenue comes from their top 20 customer. Company acknowledges that any disruption such as order delays or cancellation from their top customer can have a substantial impact on their business and financial performance. Then second risk is dependence on component import. Although the company is completely backward integrated, it does source the components from vendors in China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So any supply shortage or cost increase in these import could negatively affect the product pricing and availability that could further impact the company's uh, business and financial condition. And then third risk is high competition risk. LED lighting is a highly competitive sector that is rapidly evolving with the introduction of new lighting solution. Today a huge market of LED light in India is dominated by Chinese products available at low cost. So that is a very strong competition for the company. 
Moreover, there are already many established EMS companies in India like Dixon, Elin Electronics that have LED component in their business. So competition risk will always exist. So IQ share price is corrected around 25% from its peak and is trading at around 350 rupees. At current level, company commands a market cap of around 2700 crore, so it's a very small cap company. Company's EPS for FR23 was 7.7 .7, and based on latest price, its PE ratio should be 46, although screener is showing PE of 54. But as per my calculation, the PE is 46. Now if you look at the PE chart on screener, it is showing right PE of 46. Please note that I have not considered the Q1 of FR24 earning in this PE calculation. Now before we look at the valuation, we need to understand the growth prospect of the company which is very promising. Company is already manufacturing 5 lakh square feet of facility that would significantly boost its top line and bottom line. Moreover, IQ has an established position in LED industry. And if you look at other EMS companies, a lot of them are trading in the range of 80 to 100. And again, certainly because of the high growth potential in the industry. Considering all these factors, I think the current valuation of IQ at PE of 46 is looking decent. Again, there is a downtrend in the share price currently, but nobody knows the exact bottom. All I can say is the current correction makes IPO worth considering in the portfolio. On the shareholding, companies, promoters hold 72.4% stake, FIs have 5.06% stake, then DIs have 7.2% stake that include Quant and HDFC and public hold around 15% stake. So I hope you got a fair idea about IQ business, its moat, future prospect and valuation. As I mentioned, company is in a growth phase and LED business has immense growth potential due to multiple drivers, especially government focus on domestic manufacturing and MNC reducing dependence on China. IQ is very small cap company today with a market cap of just 2,700 crore and holds a lot of potential for the future. Company has well-established relationship with top LED players, has a very strong leadership with decades of experience. Financials are also looking very solid. Company is expanding its manufacturing facility, expanding its product portfolio and even expanding its reach, not just in India, even in US. Yes, there can be ups and downs in the near term, but it can be a potential multi-bagger in the long term. So this is it for this video. Now tell me in the comments, what is your take on IQ? Also let me know which company you want me to cover next. And if you find this video useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.